Hello guys, welcome to Top Wisdom Education. Today's topic is a great 12 topic, which is Met Lit Tariffs. We're going to be talking about tariffs today. So I'm going to make the video as short as possible. But as long as you understand, because that's the aim, you should understand how to calculate tariffs. So we, we need to work together to, in order to for you to understand. So let's begin. It's question two, by the way. 2.1 uh, I'm gonna start here as I'm showing you on the screen guys it's uh Lexin approached two car rental uh, uh, companies to look for a specific car to rent for three days he visited his brother touch in Jeffrey's Bay study the information below from two car rental companies for the same car for the same car and answer the questions that follow as you can see, uh, table one tariffs from current uh, companies. So let's begin, guys. Uh, we're going to start by two point. Let me read here first of all. Unlimited millage. When a customer is not charged on kilometers traveled, access ch changes means the difference between the build change ch charges and by the way, it's it's, it's, char it's charges and the applicable allowed amount or non-contracting amount so let's begin i've tried to zoom in here so that you guys can see properly that's why i'm busy moving this thing around here uh, 2.1.1 write down the amount he will pay for access access charges write down the amount he will pay for access charges is very specific the amount is it's very easy it's actually looking at you it's 17000 here access charges 17000 both of them are 17000 here if you don't see properly 17000 access charges so number 2.1.2 .2, if lesson use company a and damaged the car after being involved in an accident calculate the amount he will claim back from security deposit Okay, company A used company A. Let's check company A because it's very it's 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 very specific that it wants company A. So let's say it damages the car. Let's check it. They say it damages the car. If Lashin used company A and damaged the car after being involved in a in a car in an accident, calculate the amount he will claim back from security deposit. From security deposit. Okay, access so here you actually use security deposit and access charges you use security deposit and access charges so we have to minus we minus security deposit and access charges so remember that if they talk about um if if lexin used company a and damaged the car after after being involved in an accident calculate the amount he will claim back from security deposit so this is the amount you would claim back from security deposit we have to deduct it with access charges because it's it's charges so we have to deduct it so we're gonna do like this here's a calculator i'm gonna do it here 650 it's, it's not actually it's a is one eight six fifty uh my, minus not plus minus access charges because they are charges guys they are charging us then we are left with 1650 this is an amount so as you have seen we have calculated it is 1650 you're gonna say 18650 which is security deposit the amount the amount that he will claim is a deposit the amount that he will claim minus the access charges the charges the amount that they charge us so now 2.1.3 is actually give a reason why most car rental companies only rent out cars to people who have enough credit on their credit card which which is very obvious it is when the ex when the accident occurs or the car gets stolen then they can get their car fixed or replaced as soon as possible then we go into 2.1.4 uh, election traveled Traveled 950 kilometers for three days. He hired the car. He started that. He stated, by the way, stated 
that it would have been cheaper if he used company B instead of company A. Uh, verify his statement. So this one is actually uh, the one that appears on tariffs most of the time. I think you know that by now. It always says this most of the time. So let's begin to calculate uh, which Leshin said. He said that it will be cheaper if he used company B. Let's prove that. So here, um, let's get here. We start with company A, then we, we can follow up with company B to make things easier so that we, can, we cannot make things complicated. Um, let's go to company. Okay, let's start with, let's say company B first of all, because company B is very straightforward. Company B, you, you actually pay the amount. You don't need to calculate anything. You pay 3,220,65 straight plus unlimited millage. So you pay just 3,220, 3, 3,220, comma 65 when you hire it, um, even when you hire it, uh, uh for, for any days. So here, uh, in company A, you have to calculate, as you can see, company A, uh, I'll make it blue. You have to calculate, you can see. So you have, we have to focus here. Note company A two thousand three hundred and forty comma ninety plus plus three rand multiply uh multiply by uh then you put in bracket n minus six hundred uh, so the n is actually uh about how many kilometers have we traveled have it if we travel one one thousand five hundred kilometers uh it's going to be one thousand five hundred if we travel uh 700 kilometers going to be 700 kilometers. So it's a number of kilometers we traveled. We will take it as if uh, we are election, by the way. We are this guy who traveled 950 kilometers. I don't know, maybe he was going to Deben or somewhere. So number of kilometers. So we're going to say uh, 2340,90, which is, let me just uh, underline it here. Plus three rand multiply by n minus six hundred. So guys, because you use calculators, let's go use calculator. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Two thousand two thousand three hundred and forty comma ninety uh, plus uh, three rand. Uh, uh, then we, we actually say we can say equals to. Then we say, uh, after we're done saying equals to, we found the amount, which is very straightforward. Uh, we say multiply. Uh, then we put on, we have to put on brackets, by the way. So I have to extend this thing. Brackets, um, which, how many kilometers have we traveled? It's 950. Uh, minus 600. Uh, then we put on brackets. Then how much is the amount? So in total, uh Lexin Lexin has to pay three thousand three hundred and ninety comma ninety. This is the amount. I, I will write it on the screen here as you can see. This is the amount. This is the amount. So it he traveled, he or she traveled uh three thousand three hundred and ninety comma ninety. Company B I mean, he didn't travel that, by the way. He paid 3390,90 in total. Then company B, he will have to pay uh, 3220,65 plus unlimited millage, which is actually we don't pay extra. We don't pay anything else. We only pay 3220,65 straight. So Leshin traveled 950 kilometers. I'm reading the question again. For three days, for the, he hired the car. He stated that it would be cheaper. It would be cheaper. It would be cheaper if he used company P instead of company A. Verify his statement. We have already done the calculation. What is the answer for this? Is he, is he, is he, high, is he right or is he wrong? Yes, he's right. Because it's very straightforward. Uh, in, in, in company A, he paid 3390 in company B is 3220 so it will be cheaper. 
So the last one is uh, give a possible reason why there are difference in rental cost at at different times in January. Uh, the reason is actually the cars were in demand during fifth and the seventh and the seventh. So that's it, guys. So that's it. So this is uh Metzli tariffs. As you see, the video is very short. I'm gonna make another video soon. So guys, make sure you subscribe and like the video and share the video so that others will get it and check out other videos where i make uh, i teach a lot of subjects here uh, there's history there are subjects that you you might need you know uh, when when you are actually doing grade 12 so we are helping you prepare for your exams so guys subscribe and like the video and share the video peace